Hello everyone and welcome to the Community Corner. New one. This is number 23. We 23 weeks. Damn. 2 3. We got that Jordan. Jordan, Jordan out here. Corner, dude. Yes. 23. Community Corner. Here we are. Is that a basketball reference? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Come on. Congrats. Come on, we man. Did. I was sorry. Like <laughs> repping this <laughs> this guy. I mean, what do you want from me? <laughs> Turtlenecks. Dude, you should wear. You what do you want from me? <laughs> Turtlenecks. You should be got it. Perfect. Uh so, Community Corner. We are here, number 23. If you guys are new, first time watching, Community Corner is where we take discussions that are in the community, we bring them on the show, uh, and we talk with the dev team or Cameron, uh, who's also a member of the dev team. Is that <laughs> that's accurate, that's accurate. That's accurate. Right. Or Cameron. The people who actually make Paragon or Cameron. Uh, my name is Kale Smith. I'm community manager here uh, at Epic. This is Nathan Mooney. I'm Cameron. The one and only. Bless up. The lead hero designer. Cameron Winston. That's me. Hi. Uh, and today we're going to talk through a number of things. First off, big update, right? Yeah. Around the corner. This know, is this is the biggin. The biggin. The bi the biggin. The biggin. Yeah. There's okay. nothing. There's nothing bigger. Uh, nothing. Nothing. You want to know why? Why? Visual tell, update. Tell me why. Visual update. Yeah, it's actually a big deal. This is a big deal. Map looks really good. Oh, I got to play it. So, I got to, the last iteration I saw. It was looking. It was looking crisp. Yeah. It was looking hot fire. Fuego. 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 Got it. Uh, it's been it's been looking really good for a while, and the art teams really busted their butts to make yes. it not just look amazing, but play. Oh amazing. yeah. So oh, the, yeah. there's yeah. like yeah. subtle things now that it, yeah. that weren't in the the nice nice version that I played. That you know you go off the jump pads and you got the cool an, uh, animations now. Yeah, that, but then also like the extra verticality. Extra. Uh, oh, that's God. like that's really important. Like the. Like we always wanted to do that, but like actually getting it to a state where like you could actually have it, like that's really the dream. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you right. want to be a Kalari that can jump over a wall. Like you want to be a Wukong that can do that. Not, not get stuck. Yeah. Invisible wall. Yeah. Like why? Why do I hate my life? You know? No. Yeah. Collision is getting cleaned up uh, with the map. Yeah. It's a huge, huge change in how you play, how you look at the map, what you can think about right. and do, and uh, we're really, really excited because this is like the first time that monolith will be monolith yeah you know what i mean and and the main and the key thing is like you know a lot of the like you know oh man you know like i like monolith better but sure legacy sure did look good it's like now we finally have this is what we intend monolith to look like yeah, and yes. like i'm i'm really hoping i'm hoping that the community can like check out all the stuff soon and you guys can play it and let us know what you think of uh, yeah. our, our new art so yep. the first thing i'm going to ask you guys to do this is just just do it for me first first thing so we have the uh release notes they're coming out monday uh, we're not going to tease what, what anything looks like. We've already done the tease for, for New Monolith, so I'm not going to tease anything there. But the first thing you do when you load in on Thursday, 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 Thursday. the 21st, we changed the date, it's Thursday the 21st, I want you guys to load into the game, go to the Don side, turn around, look up at the sky, and look at that sphere of water. It is it's sick, right? Whew, look at that sphere. Do you know why we're releasing it on Thursday, Kale? Why? Because Thursday is actually Thor's day, and Thor's the god of lightning, and this update is lightning, and that's why we're doing it on Thursday. Illuminati. I, I thought he was going to say that <laughs> lightning causes fire, and this update is fire. Oh, fire. that's actually even better. <laughs> yep. This update causes Kale's mix, mixed it. Fuego. Yeah. Uh, so, collision improvements, more verticality, visual update, all hitting V43, in addition to a huge slew of changes mm -hmm. and I mean, Cameron you said this yeah now we're tr we're trying to deliver we said we said we were going to do it we're trying to do it more frequent yeah. big time balance changes and the thing is it's like um we want to also be a little bit more intelligent about it like we don't want to just like shotgun things around as best we can avoid like obviously every now and then something's like super critical and we just need to check something in but yep. like for the most part like a lot of these changes require like you know either scripting support or animation support or vfx support or something like that yep. so but i'm i'm really like hoping that the community will see we've done a lot of balance work for this patch and we're gonna keep doing more like it, it's just we don't want to we don't want to be doing like every week because like obviously you know you make a change on tuesday Wednesday, the Reddit thread goes up, and Epic, please, um, you know, my issue yes. that uh, I, it is obvious, as, as we all know, which is, you know, it's like, as we all know, the following XYZ thing is broken. It's like, well, that's, that might be true. That might be enough to, like, start a conversation of, like, is XYZ thing broken? Mm -hmm. And then you look at it, and then sometimes it's like, 
super obviously broken. It's like, you know, Richter's hook can pull me from one core to another. Like that's something we should change <laughs> like, immediately. Right. Or like, you know, but, but it's like, you know, this hero has way too much health. Like, like anecdotally, this is true because you've made the thread. Like we, we, we acknowledge that, but like, there's a lot of like thinking and play testing and then and, like work that goes into it. And, you know, we have our dedicated uh, balance team and like, uh, we have the, the, the competitive designers who play the game all day and yeah. all this kind of stuff. So, you know, we, we run through them, we run through that, but, um, we're hoping to be a little bit more agile with things because now that we have this great new card system and the great new balancing math that we have, more knobs. we have so many more knobs to tweak and we, you know, we can adjust heroes by adjusting cards. We can adjust heroes by adjusting gems. Mm -hmm. We can adjust heroes because now that each hero has their own stat line, we can't, we don't have to do things like everyone who attacks with a sword is better and yeah. everyone who attacks with a gun is worse. Like right. we can just be like Murdoch specifically is better or like Aurora specifically is worse or whatever it is we right. decide we need to do. And so. in this manner or that manner. And yeah, and like, yeah. We, like I'm seeing balance changes. Some of these balance changes are like heroes move faster. Like yeah. what a great world we find live in. I can, we can actually do those, That's right? Yep. Like, yep. like, like we're just like, you just move faster because it's fine now because yep. we have that world. I don't know. So I think it's great. I'm excited for them. So there are, I want to say 10 hero changes. It might be more. I didn't count all of them. There's a lot There's of a lot. hero adjustments. We, we just had many heroes. Yes. Um, I mean, we hit we hit a bunch of big ones. There's uh, there's changes to, to Grimm. There's changes to uh, Aurora. There's changes to Kwong. Uh, there's changes to... Um, uh, Gideon. Sivarog, Gideon. You know, Iggy. So, yeah, Iggy. Yeah, Iggy. So nerfs for Iggy, don't worry. Um, but like, you know, Severog's, you know, like, you know, people have been saying stuff like, you know, hey, Severog's Souls mechanic is kind of slow considering the pace of the game now. Yes, like, you know, that's yep. being adjusted. We're going to bring that in. Um, you know, we uh, also I've been reading stuff. This is not coming in 43, but in the future update, um, our boy Crunch, one of one of my favorites. Oh, right? Yeah, he's he's and gonna get crunches. he's gonna get some probably some animation love coming yes. into a future patch, like you know stuff like that. But that's not 43, but that's coming in. Um, I remember we teased on Community Corner the other week, like uh, Aurora's getting Aurora. yeah bigger AOE on her ultimate, a bigger AOE on her Horfrost, and faster animations to just sort of like keep, keep her a little bit more relevant. Keep the pace, right? Yeah, uh, Kwong, same thing, just bigger, uh, bigger pinning on his, uh, you know, Light of the Heavens and stuff like that. So, so, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put myself in a little bit of a, a, a sticky situation. You love those, yes. So right. I'm, I'm gonna put myself out there, and uh, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna give away a, like a little hint. So. Last time I did this, um, uh, I was talking. I was playing a lot of Greystone, right? Mm -hmm. I was playing a lot of Greystone. Then the skin came out. We changed some Greystone stuff because uh, I wanted to play mm -hmm. a lot of Greystone. If you guys pay attention to my play habits, I'll, I'll get into a mode where I know some changes are coming up, and then I'll play that hero a lot. Mm -hmm. So when the changes take effect, you know, I'll kind of be ahead of the game. So like, oh, yeah. I understand this hero's kit. You know who what heroes I've been playing a lot of? What was that? Aurora. Yeah. Yeah, I've been playing. You, who told I know, you? I know. I know. Who, I, I, oh, I, look, this guy. Listen, guys. I know I shouldn't be doing things like that, but I'm just trying to practice. I'm trying to prepare myself for some of the changes, and so I want to be aware of like how our kit functions right now, and then when it when when those changes take effect, yeah. what types of things I should. Do. It's going to be a lot easier to chase people down with Horfrost. So just something that like you know you really can't do right now on, yeah. on live. It's like, but like we've been able to do internally for a while now. But it's like not only is the is the radius bigger, but also like it, it, it's get it's going to um, get out there a little bit faster, and uh, she's going to recover from it faster. And like you know the, the same thing with the ultimate, like you know. It's a lot of like, you know, this, she won't spin quite as much. It, radius is bigger. Let's her follow up with it a little bit better, you know. So I'm hoping to see um, a little bit of, of, of a better improved functionality from, from Aurora and her kit. Can I talk about my combo real quick? Yeah, go, go ahead. Black Ice Routine. Mm -hmm. I run in. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Glacial Charge in. Black Ice Routine. Alt. And then uh, what's, what's my other card? It's Black Ice Routine. And then I have... Um, the ability, 85% of ability damage mm -hmm. is negated. So I pop that as I'm sliding in, mm -hmm. alt, and mm -hmm. then um, and then I just watch it, my teammates. Yeah, uh, and, and yeah, hopefully they can follow up on it. Yep. Yeah. You know what I did today? I That's was awesome. ulted by an Aurora, and then I was Wraith. I was actually trying out some carry Wraith because we've made some, you know, internal adjustments to him. But it's just to see if, see if that would be fun, and uh, it, it actually worked for some reason. But like. Uh, because it was me being the carry, and that's always like a recipe for losing a game. <laughs> uh, but like, I got Aurora ulted, and I hit my Wraith ult. And, and you so, just sat there and no, what happened? Like we we all got frozen and exploded, and then we all turned invisible. <laughs> 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 and then a Gideon came in and ulted us, and is like, 
uh, did I hit? Did like, hit <laughs> and then we all just sort of like, you know, walked out, you know, casually, super casual style. But so, so maybe this, maybe this is a little bit, a little bit of a Mooney update too. I heard uh, somebody, somebody might be getting some love in this uh, update. Oh, maybe, boy? maybe your boy getting some. Who, who is some, who is our boy? That's no, that's uh, it's a uh, sep- No, I'm just kidding. Steel. It's steel. It's steel yes, it's steel. we. In fact, so um, one of the things about steel is. Uh, Steele's always kind of been like suffered from the, you know, he's got a problem with, you know, he ults you and then like, what does he do? What's so, up guys? I'm here. Yeah. What's so up? he's just there. So like, and again, we're, we're, we're uh, part of our philosophy with tanks is how we want them to play is like, we want them to be sort of like this persistent threat. Yeah. And Steele's always had like a pretty snappy attack animation, but like one of the things about him is like, he's not like threatening once he ults you. It's just like, he's, he puts up his wall and he just hopes for the best. Right. So. And and he can dash with his his bull rush charge, but like it's kind of slow. It's a little bit hard to hit if you miss with it. Like it's on cooldown forever. So what we did is we replaced his charge with a um, super low cooldown, uh, low duration stun. I think it's like half a second stun on like a five second cooldown. I want to say. Uh, I'm not sure if that's exactly correct. Does it do so, damage? Yeah, it does. It Ooh. does a lot of damage. So what he does is he gets on you and he starts just bonking you and it's just super disruptive. And that's you're like, right. I'm going to be out here next week bonking people. Let's go. And then you just get bonked and they're like, get this guy <laughs> off me. Which is essentially, remember, that's the core. If you know the tank is successful is if he gets on you and he's just being annoying and you're like, peel. I need to peel. Peel this guy. Like, that's what you want tanks to be. It's right. like, like you've this... heard about thunks, but have you heard about bonks? bonks. Yeah. Steel, well, bring the bonks in get three. Bonked. But what is his, what's the ability name? Is it actually called bonks? Right now it's called it's called <laughs> so no it's called shield bash right now because Petition we were super to creative no shield bomb it, it's right now it's just called shield bash it may get a name update in the coming uh, days or weeks but it turns out like localization requires more than like ten hours of time so but if it was bonk you could just not localize that but bonk is more of like a crunch <laughs> name or a narbash name that's true shield that's true. bonk like shield bonk come on guys come on shield bonk. <laughs> Uh, so I, I can't wait to, I actually, oh, in the play test that we had yesterday, there was a steal on the other team and ulted and I got bonked and I was like, oh, Ooh. that's nice. One of the things I did, uh, I played at jungle steel the other day nice. and like, I got like, uh, I got the Meyer, uh, the vengeful Meyer mm-hmm. and, uh, the other color I was running. I got the stagnant dominion. Mm. So what I did is I just walked up to, like, I found a fool by him, by themselves. Right. And I was like, oh, this is my, gotta gonna, look for fools. you gotta look for the fools. Right. And then I just, I bonked him. And he was slow after the bonk, so I was easily able to line up my ultimate. And then I just punched him a little bit, and then I bonked him again. And then, like, he was just, just and then I just punched. <laughs> fools beware, yeah. you will get yeah, punched well, Fools bonk. are getting ready to be bonked. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a lot of fun. I was just, just beating him up, and then, like, and then it was one time um, I was playing Steel in a Steel Aurora comp. And, man, that was fun. Like, you just, like, came out, like, you know, Veil stepped out of the jungle and just delete a team, like... Yeah. It's that unwary. Kayla it and I will see you guys yeah. next week. Yeah, we'll, we'll, guys, we're already ready. <laughs> yeah. We got the bonk plus the freeze. Dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. It's going to be, it's gonna be some, good some, some big bonks. You better be running those uh, spell block gems. So, I, <laughs> yes. Uh, there will be uh, plenty of more changes for heroes that you guys can all read on Monday. Mm-hmm. Uh, in addition to uh, watching the dev stream where we talk a lot about the map. Yep. One uh, other key thing I want to mention is you can now purchase cards with reps starting in, That's right. in V43. So starting. we talked about this last last week. Yep. Uh, and uh, it is coming this week. We didn't have a date for you guys. So what you will be able to do is you go to uh, your, is it collections? Yes, collections, uh, where all your cards are stored. You will be able to click on a card and unlock it using reputation. So yep. after you uh, play the match, I don't know all the prices off the top of my head. Um, but more I, than three reputation more, more than three per card. Uh, but again, our, our goal with this volitional goals, we want you to, uh, play the game, understand the game, get to a point where you have a, a set of structures or a shed, a set of goals mm-hmm. to build a structured deck so that you can accomplish the goal that you have with a specific hero. And now you can kind of go out and, and go after those and, cards. And, you know, and, like, and like we said, it's like, you know, we, we, I keep seeing the same threads like, oh, but it would, like, it would be more competitive to have an item shop. It's like the, the thing, the thing, to, the, the key takeaway is like, remember, that's part of like the soul of Paragon. Like we're trying to like do, like we, we don't want to just be every game. Like yeah. we're trying to be, be our different. own thing. Yeah, for sure. And like this is part of what it means to be us. So yeah. Just the same way, you know, being a, a game where you can jump over walls is going to create some 
situations that are going to be very unique to Paragon. Like, why can we do this? Like, how come you can do that as this hero? Like, how can how can this be? Yeah. It's like it's going to create these situations where our competitive players will have to adapt and grow with what that is. And so, like, no, and, you know, and I, I've said this in a couple conversations, and we'll talk a little bit here about the, the esports stuff. But I've said this in a couple a uh, couple conversations uh, when talking about competitive. Yeah. What, what is competitive, right? So the very it's nature of you. yeah the <laughs> the very nature yeah. of an activity where you're participating against someone else mm -hmm. is inherently competitive, yep. right? And so, whatever, whenever we talk about esports or we talk about competitive, it it really comes from the community more so than than coming from us. The very nature of competing, there are games that I that I that I don't play that I know that other people play competitively, and I'm not going to say, hey, that's not competitive because I'm not participating. Right, yeah. yep. The act of participation in the uh, the event or game or whatever is competitive in and of and, itself. And, and it's like, and when, when we say we strive to be competitive, what we mean by that is we want the game to have a high level player base that yes. engages the game at a high level and then showcase their talents to the rest of our community as sort of like, look, these are the, the people who are really executing at a super high level. But that being said, it's like you, you don't get to decide when you get a star in the Hall of Fame. Like you don't get to decide like when you are a rock star, right? right. The people who who play the game and consistently push, and it, consistently to its push it to its limits are the people who yep. will make us an esport or not. Right. It's you guys. It's not us. It's right. like, and when we say we want to get there, we're not talking about like you can't just decide like we're an esport now. Like, yeah, like and we, that's, we're not going to. Yeah. We'll, you'll never see Epic State. That any of our games are in esports. Oh, I thought no. Kale was going to go outside and press the esport button. Right no, now. no. Sure? There, okay. I wish there was e esport e enabled. But, but e enabled. No, yeah. you know what we strive for is to be a competitive game, and yeah. you need to have a fun game uh, where people are, can can feel competitive. Exactly. And they need a growth space, but yep. we're not the next esport. And and I say this because uh, you know there's a lot of folks that that have taken um that that specific thing we've not stated that we want to be an esport as oh well that means epic doesn't want to hold competitive events of course no, no, we no, do no, 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 no. we want to hold competitive yeah like events. of course like and and, then, and and here's the key takeaway like it, it would be like ludicrous to assume that nobody that we don't we don't want to be an esport like would who wouldn't want to be to have that all that stuff like wouldn't that be great like would. like yeah. like that everybody wants that but like you can't that again, that can't come from us. We can't make that happen. And it's, like, it's not a stated vision for the game. It's not a goal for the game. The goal of the game for from you guys is to make a competitive. I make a competitive MOBA that puts you in the action. Right. That's that is the mission statement of the game. That's yes. always what we've been trying to do. And along the way, if we can also like you know, if we get enough validation from the community and 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 you guys decide we're an esport, then we get to be an esport, right? right? Like, but that's like saying, you know, like we're designing a hit, like you don't design a hit, like you design a game. And then if the game is successful, it becomes a hit. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's the same kind of progression. And that's, and that's our philosophy around it. So, you know, I, I, I love spending time talking about it and educating people on esports as a former pro player. We have a lot of folks that uh, had some hands in LCS. So, or were former pro players or ran tournaments and or uh, uh, organized events in other games like Counter-Strike or some of the other big ones out there. And so collectively, we have a group of very, very educated people uh, that are outstanding individuals that really want to contribute to building out what that could look like. Mm -hmm. But we're not stating, we're just not stating that Paragon or Epic is trying to make games for esports, that's yeah. not the that's not the goal. We're trying to make competitive games mm -hmm. that allow us to get to that to that space. So hopefully that clarifies that uh, for those of you there. Uh, again, I heavily we, resisted making a ludicrous reference. I just want everybody to know that. What I was going to say something about dropping bows on people, but like it's fine. Let's move on. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> Uh, it's just on my mind. It was like paining me not to say that, and I just needed other people to know okay. that I was holding that back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we one, know. Other, one other thing I want to mention is uh, with with the the changes for V forty three is the right. cards. Yeah. Yep. Oh, there are a ton, ton of cards. Of so many. There are yeah. changes, and and we're we're trying to remove um, aura stacking, right? So that's undesirable. Whenever it happens, you, you guys know that. Like yes. you know, so if, if if it keeps happening, let us know. They're bugs. We'll fix them. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, we mentioned it last week. We were looking into it. Yeah. fixed it and now for v43 uh, i won't say no but we are uh the the goal is to not to have yes. yep. they should not we we have made changes to stop that from happening if there right. are if you find yeah, if you find some find the comment where i said no aura stacking and then flame me and then i'll get the bugs in <laughs> in fuego i'll get the bugs in don't worry guys <laughs> spicy <laughs> and, uh, uh, 
And let's see. We have uh, no new hero next week. If uh, you guys are wondering about that, we mentioned, I think Cameron actually, we were up here when mm -hmm. Cameron mentioned, uh, the focus right now is working on existing heroes, yep. making yeah. them better. The team is uh, the, the team is like going through and updating a lot of older heroes. Like right now there is a ton of heroes in a prototype state at, uh, here in the office that, you know, obviously we're not releasing, but we're going through a bunch of changes for like, Right now, there's anywhere between four to ten heroes in a completely proto state. Like that, you know, depending on the level of the reworks uh, for some of them, are just like we can't um, we can't release them. They're just not ready to be released. Right. But we're right. testing out the gameplay. We're proving it out, mm -hmm. and the goal is to get as many of them out for you guys as we possibly can. Uh, but you know, obviously, our hero quality is high enough for the uh, visual presentation that we can't just be like. And this does this different thing, right? Now. Like, because then at that point, like, that's not what being Paragon means, right? Like, so like we have to, like, a lot of them are functional and working, and like we get it, we get like you know the new kit stood up in like four days, and we're like started playing it, and we're like, hey, this is good, and then it has to go in the pipeline for animation, animation and FX yeah, and all this yeah. kind of stuff. So, so they're coming. We're working. The whole team's working on it. So, um, and that doesn't mean no more new heroes this year. Yo, does it? No, it doesn't. No, it does not. Hmm. No, it does not. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. One other thing that I, I want to mention, uh, actually, there's a couple other things I want to mention. First uh, is Auto Run. Yes. You know how this has been like one of those quality of life uh, uh, features mm -hmm. that has been hot for a long time? Kind of died down a little bit because I think people were like, well, it's, it's yeah. never coming. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, boom. Auto run. Auto run. Well, you know what it is? It's like anyone who's ever worked in development, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You have this backlog of things, which is like essentially like, here's what you can do and here's what you want to do. Yeah. And like what you want to do is like 400 times bigger than what you can actually accomplish. And Auto Run's been on that backlog for so long. And at some point, uh, we were just able to be like, oh my God, we, we can do this. Do this. Like we can actually get someone to make this happen for us. So we got the right people to be able to, to execute it and... Uh, now we have some auto run, which is really exciting. There you go. So for those of you that want to hit those gyms while you're you're running out to, to now, now again, don't don't like turn, you know, get a coffee, come back down because you know you're gonna auto run into the enemy tower. You got to type to tell your carry how well they're doing in lane, right. and how successful hey their farm is. Hey guys, hey jungler, I, people over please here. auto run us responsibly. Yeah, yes. I, I, I jungler, I can't help but notice how successful your gank rotations have been, and I appreciate you as a person. Exactly. Say so, yeah, that's yes. what you do. You type that. That. Is, that is what you do. Yeah. Or you're like, hey offlaner, I realize you've been getting ganked a lot, but I still love you. Yes. Like, right? Tell your team you love them. Yeah. When, with your ability to type now yeah. that you can auto run. Be that lighthouse. Thank you. Man. There we go. Thank you. you got so it, it's really, we're, we're calling the button the, in the binding lighthouse enable. Yeah. Right. Lighthouse enable. Enable lighthouse. <laughs> auto run. See, it's just missing in the text. It'll say auto run, but it, next to it, it's like enable lighthouse mode. Enable lighthouse mode, which you, you can then do, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So a couple more things. We have um, Countess Lore Week wrapping up today. Mm -hmm. uh, we have part two of the lore story coming out. If you guys loved this hero lore week yes let us know like we this was super exciting we, we surprised everyone Remember, no yeah, they we were like arctic did you just where's, gave that, up? Lore? where's that lore where's that lore you just gave up on it, exactly right? yeah, yeah yeah uh so shout out to Alyssa. Yep. uh for uh she is on the narrative team that was her short story yep. Amazing job! Uh, I read it. I could visualize all of it. Oh yeah, no, it's like super terrible. well written. And then like it's just and then with part two dropping today, there's like a there's like a line in there of her like it's just, it's a, all of these lines are just so it, it's I'm able to see it happening and like yeah you know it's, dude my favorite part is in the second in the second part when Countess is like staring over her city and she turns to her neighbor and is like be the lighthouse and then jumps off the building. <laughs> that's my favorite part. That's yeah. my favorite part. My favorite part. Yeah, as well. just be the lighthouse. That's what Countess wants for you. So, if you like Countess Lore Week and you like the Lighthouse, uh, uh, please let us uh, know uh, what hero you would like us to do next. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe we can get in more Gash Lore Week or, or um, you know, my per personal favorite, Richter. How did how did he get the number two? How did he get right. the number two? How did he get the number two, dude. Who's number one? Who does number two work for? Yeah. Uh, and that uh, that pretty much wraps it all up. Uh, we have. <laughs> Shadow's Eve, and we're, we're on the, the precipice That's spooky. Uh, of, of Shadow's Eve, so we'll have some more news about that here really soon. But uh, other than that, guys, I mean... I think it's time to wrap up, wouldn't yeah, you say? Yeah, yeah. I, would, I, would, I think it's, it's about that time. All right. Whoa! Whoa! I did not see that coming. Oh, hey there, guys. Hi there. Hello there. What are you doing, Chris? Um, 
I was busy fighting uh, Revenant in the Nether Realm, and I just like popped up here. You know, I'm just <laughs> hanging out. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Isn't this quite, quite the fancy. Folks? Why have you joined us Chris on Sierra. this community corner? That's a, that's a great, folks. That's a great question. So I'm here to talk to you guys. So we've actually got something cool coming to you guys on Monday for the dev stream for 43. Mm -hmm. So uh, rock music. I have a uh, pass with rock music. So it's guys, rock me. music. It's rock music. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. Um, but uh, anyway, so we got two guys coming uh, from some pretty cool rock bands. We got a band called Beartooth. Uh, their guitarist Taylor is going to be coming out along with a band called Ghost Key. Austin, the vocalist from Ghost Key, are going to be joining us for the V43 dev stream. Uh, pretty stoked. I was actually running the Paragon Twitter when we went to launch 42. And because the servers were down, I was on Twitter and there was a guy who was like helping us post. He was like, hey guys, Epic said the servers are down. They're working on fixing it. And uh, he was verified. And so I was like, oh, who is this dude? So I clicked on his profile and I was like, oh, no way. He plays in Ghost Key. Uh, my band back in the day was actually going to tour with his band. Long story short, ended up uh, getting to know him. Pretty cool dude. And uh, he told me he was friends with Beartooth. And they're like, hey, we have this huge group of guys that play, you know, in rock bands that love Paragon. And I was like, I think I got a solution for you guys. And so got together with these dudes, talked to them. And uh, we figured out uh, they wanted to come and like support the game. So I was like, let's get you guys out to HQ for this 43 dev stream. And, it's pretty uh, cool. That rocks. That's awesome. That Rock and roll, you know that's, what I'm saying? Hey, hey. That's pretty good. Yeah. Can yeah. I, can I pretty, I'm, I'm super stoked. These guys are awesome. The rockers. Super yeah. stoked. Expect some more stuff in the future, too, with some other bands. So it's going to be good. All yeah. right. Well, with that being said, why don't we actually end this time? How about we uh, close out the show? I just wanna, with, uh, I should, <laughs> please let me leave. See you next time. <laughs> be the lighthouse. See you guys.